reception starters. I'm one of the teachers from Callington Primary School and I'm going to be reading you a story today. This story is called The Bumble Bear. Once there was a bear called Norman who loved honey. He really, really, really loved it. And he was always sad when it ran out. But getting hold of more honey was always a bit Bzzz, tricky. If only I could be a bee, he sighed. I could have as much honey as I liked. And then Norman had a quite amazing and brilliant idea. It was an ordinary morning at bee school. Hello bees, said the queen who was in charge. We have a new bee at bee school today. Ooh, said the little bees. Everyone say hello to Norman. Hello, said Norman. Ooh, said the little bees. Aren't you a bit big? asked Amelia, who was a rather clever little bee. Um, I'm a special bee, said Norman. I come from a land far, far away called, um, Giant Bee Land. Hmm, said Amelia. But then it was time for lessons to start. And here is the timetable of the day. So they began the day with some painting. Then Norman joined in with buzzing practice. And here he is buzzing along saying buzz, 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 buzz. Before everyone settled down for a nap. The bee showed him all sorts of games during playtime. And Norman was brilliant at waggly dancing. And then it was time to go home. Bee school is amazing, thought Norman. He couldn't wait to come back the next day. The next morning was even better. Norman was very good at finding smelly flowers. The bees really liked him. He was so funny and friendly and he always tried his best. Even during flying lessons. And there he is trying his best, but he's not so good at flying. After lunch, the bees learned how to chase away anyone who came after their honey, like spiders, mice, toads or bears. Amelia still felt there was something a little bit odd about Norman. She tried to work out what it was. <gasps> and here she is gasping because she's reading a book and it says, Bears, steal honey, smell bad, raw lots. Amelia told the other bees what she'd found out, but they didn't believe her. Of course Norman's not a bee, they said. Just look at him. He is not a bee, and I shall prove it, said Amelia. She took Norman to the bee's secret honey store. Well, when he saw all that honey, Norman just couldn't help himself. And here it says, honey, 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 honey. I think Norman might have honey on his brain. After all, he really, really, really loved honey. See, Norman isn't a bee, he's a bear, said Amelia. What the diggings? gasped all the little bees. Oof, said Norman. He was asked to leave bee school at once. And here he is. He's got a tear rolling down his cheeks. He's feeling incredibly sad because I know that he really wants to be at bee school. With Norman gone, things were very quiet at bee school. Norman was such a funny bee, sighed the bees. Norman was such a busy bee, sighed Amelia. Norman was a naughty bear, said the Queen, and bee school is no place for bears. But later that night, the bees heard a loud crash and a diabolical roar. Oh no, they cried. It's a bear. And this bear was big and nasty and trampled all over bee school. It grabbed the hive and started to shake it. The bees tumbled out in panic. They tried to tra chase away the bear, but it was just too big and too bad. But then, and then you can see in the distance, somebody's coming. So have a think about who that could be. A fearsome buzzing beast burst through the trees. And it's saying, buzz, buzz. Eek, squealed the bear. It's a giant bee. And it ran away as fast as it could. 
the bees were saved and Norman was a hero. They gave him a big pot of honey and the Queen presented him with a special award. You definitely aren't a bee, said the Queen, but you are no ordinary bear. You are, I think, a bumblebear. And there he is looking so happy because that's all he's ever wanted is to be a bee. And now he gets to be a bumblebear. And bumblebears were definitely allowed to go back to bee school. The end. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye.